and grab our handy dandy climbing picks. I don't even know how these work, so yeah, it'll be interesting to to try those out. Oh, look at that! I'm just going to sit here and do this for 10 minutes because it's so cool. <laughs>
We'll, and we'll, we'll leave the magnum here. We can just use the shotgun for that. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. I don't know. Um, but what I do want to do is I want to get uh, both Jennies running here um, just to kind of get our power going. I'm not going to overdrive them. This just, again, this is so not worth it um, when you can just build, you know, more generators. And I, I will eventually do that. Something I'll probably just do off the camera. So let's put that away. Now, what we're going to do, though, is we're going to make some honey glazed pork and vegetables uh oh speaking of which too i'll bet you let me put this back for the moment i want to carry it around uh for now um we should have some crop plots ready to go let's do that first so that way we have more produce uh, i've got one onion seed and one tomato seed uh, we're going to want to take some water up with us too i just did a water run right before i started the camera and let's get whatever fertilizer we currently have I'm working on a new set of chickens. That one's level seven. This one's level six so far. And we got just a ton and ton of eggs, which is just beautiful thing. We have 30 eggs, guys. Uh, and I have like a, uh, almost a full stack of steak and eggs here in the refrigerator. Uh, so it's just a wonderful thing. Uh, we don't really have a whole lot of ash because um, I used that to make a bunch of gunpowder. So we'll just divvy up the fertilizer that we currently have, which isn't a ton, but that's okay. All right, let's head up here. Did I just hear something outside? Uh, maybe not. Okay. So we're going to harvest our carrots. I've got half potatoes and half um, cotton in that one uh, because that one grew faster than the other ones. Okay, so this is our carrots. We'll split this in half. Split that in half again, and then we want to extract... A total of eight seeds because I don't have uh, any seeds uh, that I've looted. Sorry, my, my brain's like not quite working here. Um, let's just split this four ways. We'll throw that there and two waters there. Okay, and then we'll get our onions. Full onions and full tomatoes. I split up the carrots and potatoes with cotton when I find it, but these ones are always just the full deal. All right, so we have one onion seed, so we just need seven more. So we'll split this in half and split this in half. Uh, extract five, and we just need two more. So extract one seed and extract one seed. And that gives us uh, 17 onions to, to take home. All right, oh, and two waters... And, oh, you already have some fertilizer. Okay. And then a full crop of tomatoes. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. Absolutely beautiful, gorgeous thing. Get all that done. And then uh, we have one tomato seed. So we'll split this in half and split it in half again and do four seeds. And we need three more. Uh, split one. Extract three seeds. There we go. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. And we are in business. Okay. What? what, what? Uh oh. What just happened? Uh oh. My game just crashed. That's the first time this game has ever crashed on me. What the hell? Um. All right. I'll be right back. Okay. So it looks like um it reloaded us back up to right before we went up to do the crops. Um, had I already started that? Yeah, okay. Thank God for autosave. That is literally um, the first time this game has ever, ever crashed on me. It is a very, very stable game. All right, well, let me redo all of this, and then I'll meet you guys downstairs, and we will make some honey-glazed ham and vegetables. Looking forward to that. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw these veggies in here so we're getting a nice little collection of veg edibles. Uh, plus, I have seven uh, tomato soups and eight steak and potatoes already made up. I have seven chicken dinners made up, uh, roast chicken dinners. Uh, but what we want to do this time is we want to make some honey glazed pork. So uh, I've never made this before. And so we're going to need uh, potatoes and carrots. So this one doesn't use onions. Interesting. Okay. So let's whip up five batches of that. Um, oh, it take, oh, so it takes two pork per Hey, okay, so I guess we're not whipping up five batches of that. 
I don't know if the honey spoils or not. Um, I'm keeping it in the fridge just in case it does because it's very rare. Sounds like we might have a mountain lion up right up above us. Yeah, we do. Okay, cool. So we're making that. Now let's get back over to here for a second. So we have four of our ingots made. We need a total of eight to meet that particular requirement of the picks. What else, by the way, do we need for that? Uh, eight scrap metal and 12 crystal. Both of those are easy peasy. Let's just get them set aside now. Get the scrap metal here and 12 crystal. Uh, so we'll split that in half and split that in half again. And there's our 12 crystal. Okay, so we have everything except for the two ingots that we need for the climbing picks. And um, do we have enough? Oh, we were gonna, we were gonna go raid Bravo to to get see if we could get two more ingots. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Plus, we'll get the other stuff, whatever other stuff that we will get from them. Uh, so that means I'm gonna need um, a little more than a whole pick if I'm just gonna use one grenade on their door. Okay, so let's grab this and let's actually just make two more picks. And uh, we'll put that stuff back there. Okay. So that's cooking up. Uh, hopefully we'll have enough food uh, or protein and fruits and vegetables down low enough to where we can eat the honey glaze ham. That's the one bad thing. Well, it's not a bad thing, but that's the one interesting thing, I guess I should say, about the really high-end foods is you have to be low enough to, to eat them. The game doesn't let you eat if you're not hungry enough, which is a very good thing because, you know, that way you don't accidentally waste waste food. Okay, so we got those two guys made up. Um, we're just we're, we're just waiting pretty much on these two dishes to cook. How are we doing? Uh, okay, so the power's coming back pretty good. Uh, th that's the other thing too. I mean, we're gonna need a 1800 power and 150 mass just even to make those. But hopefully by the time we're done with our raid, uh, we'll have we'll have that built up and if I have to put the mass fabricator on I will I don't like to do it but sometimes you got to do it just to get going what you need to get going uh, let's grab these guys out of here I thought about upgrading this to the third thing but I don't know I, I seem to be getting by with two if we upgrade it to three it's just going to use that much more power okay here we go honey glazed pork and uh, vegetables. Uh, what does this give us again? Um, it gives us 90 fruits and vegetables, 0.7 max health, and 0.68 max stamina. Yum, yum. And we are now, ladies and gentlemen, up to 116 health cap, which is the highest I've ever been um, in this game, which is really cool. Uh, we actually would have been higher than that if I hadn't been killed a couple of episodes ago or whenever that was that <laughs> was uh, I got stuck in the cave wall and died a couple of times but that's all right that's the way it goes man that's the way it goes all right you know what I think I'm gonna do guys I think I'm gonna cut the camera here and wait until daylight and then we're gonna go raid Bravo so I'll see you guys probably over at Bravo's base all right it is dawn and we have ourselves a bear in the yard that is not acceptable Let's deal with him. And I uh, thought I heard maybe some footsteps. Oh, nice little collection of fat there from him. Bears are hit and miss. Sometimes you actually do get a lot of good stuff from bears, but many times you don't. And considering, you know, how relatively hard they are to kill, I'm just going to burn these for, for mass later on. Oh, I don't go out of my way to kill them. But when they're in your backyard, or front yard, maybe this is the front yard? Yeah, I guess this would be the front yard. You kind of have to deal with them. All right, just making sure those guys aren't down there. Uh, by the way, this is what the base looks like in the front now. It's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good, our cave base. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Okay, let's um, go raid Bravo, and hopefully they will provide us with two more ingots, or if not that, at least a bunch more iron. 
uh, fragments. Let's get this level one wolf out of our hair too. Man, strawberries. I haven't seen a lot of strawberries. It's, it's July, by the way. <laughs> Lots of... There's just so much grinding in this game, you know? And after a while, you can't... You can't keep showing all of that on camera. I, I thought about doing some live streaming, too. But the problem with me live streaming at least this series is... Um... I'm so far ahead of you guys that... Looks like, uh, Bravo's... Okay, so we just hot hit him with an incendiary ram. I'm just curious to see how much... Okay, so we... One incendiary round and one 9 mil took him out. That's not bad. Alright, let's do this guy. Let him waste his ammo. Not that that matters, because the hunters have unlimited ammo. Let's let the burn... To, what? You shot me through a frickin' tree? What the hell, man? Okay. I mean, still, one incendiary round and one nine mil is not a bad ratio for killing these assholes. I'll take it, man. I will take it. Okay, and I didn't even, you know, I didn't even let the first one finish the dot either. So, okay, that eliminates two of those guys. So we'll probably have one, <clears throat> anywhere from, I'd say, one to three more at the base that we'll have to take out. Grab this. Let's just look and see what's going on. You don't... Uh, he just came right out the door. He doesn't even see us. All right, we just headshot him. I wonder if there was would be a way that you could catch them coming out the door and duck in. <laughs> I don't know. Um, just trying to listen to see if there's anybody else in there. Not that it matters, because we're going in one way or the other. Okay, let's blow the door. Okay, and then I have a little bit over, a little more than a full pick's worth of breakage to do, so I'll bring you guys back when we're ready to break in. Okay, here we go. Probably didn't actually need that second shot, but... Oh, well. Okay. Uh, we'll grab that, and that, and that, and this stuff here. And there's never anything in that. Uh, I've already uh, busted in here earlier and made a bunch of oxygen tanks, so we have plenty of those for our trip. Uh, there's nothing in his thing there. Let's turn the light on. And now for the good stuff. All right. Dad, burn it. There's not a single ingot in here, but... Oh, there's another solar panel. Hot damn. I'll take that. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, so um, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get all of this stuff so let me kind of pick and choose the really important things um i'm gonna want that for the mass recycler looks like uh, yeah we got magnum rounds there so that's good so i'm gonna need to make room for nails bullet casings boards and oh and we have rifle bullets too shit okay here let's eat this let's eat those let's eat all these and we'll take that, and that, and that, and that, and we still need to make room for nails, so I don't want to eat the straw. Can we make strawberry? No. Uh, here, I'm going to throw this meat out. Well, here, let's, no, let's throw these out. Okay, so that makes room for the nails, and I think, yep, that gets us everything. Okay, cool. Very cool. What did I just throw out? Uh, three fibers. Yeah, we can we can afford to 
get rid of those. Okay, let's t um, let's extinguish their fire and uh, turn this on. Sounds like there's a wolf out there. Turn this on, run all their fuel out, run their power out, and there we go. Okay, so that was a decent raid, actually. We got some... We didn't get what we really wanted, but, uh, I mean, I'll take the solar panel. Holy cow, that is such a nice item to loot, you know? Uh, oh, let's look in... There's a wolf around here somewhere. we got to be careful. Uh, yeah, we can take that and that. Nice. And we'll put their fire out. <laughs> okay, we don't have room for fiber. Okay, well, let's take this back to the base, and then we'll kind of see where we're at with our mass and power, because that's... Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to make two more ingots. Um, or we could use this single grenade and go do the same thing, raid Alpha. I don't want to raid Charlie, because Charlie takes two, you know, way more resources to get those guys. But we could hit Alpha and see if they have an ingot. So maybe we'll do that. Uh, so let me go uh, get everything dropped off, and then I'll meet you guys over at Alpha's base. All right, we are on our way to Alpha's, and we got a wolf here that wants to mix it up with us. So let's uh, deal with him. <clears throat> let's loot this uh, ammo crate, too. All right, and looks like we have another wolf. He moved. You thoughty rat. Take him out. All right. I guess uh, we probably better go down to the water and wash off now that we're all bloody. Since we're going to be at Alpha's base for a little while. And hopefully they'll have the, the final two ingots that we need. I, I have full power at the base now and full free mass. And then I have a bunch of things that we can feed into the mass fabricator uh, when we get back. So we should be able to make the climbing picks. All right, let's go on up to their base. They're not too far away from Bravo. They're just kind of up over the hill this direction. I have to remember where their Claymore is, but it's, be it's behind their f base. Um, you know, kind of on the side pointing towards me. All right. Uh, is that their base right there? Yeah, there it is. Okay, so let's come around this way. Let's see if we can get a solid shot off on this guy. He's going to see us here in a second. Yeah. Okay, let's get around here. That didn't attract the attention of the other ones, huh? Wow. Okay. It's always good to get sneak shots if you can. <clears throat> so let's peek around the corner here. There we go. Ah, oh, shit. I can't. Wow, these incendiary rounds, you guys. <laughs> They're so awesome. Okay, so there's a dude upstairs opening and closing the windows, and they can shoot at us from this base. Um, so let's run around here. I'm going to grab that real quick. And the incendiary round is right by that rock there. Uh, here, let's just let that build up. <clears throat> okay, he's not going to be able to do anything to us while we're down here. Unless he decides to come out the door, which would be amazing. I kind of don't think their AI will do that if I'm right in front of the door, but I don't know that for sure. 
<clears throat> That'd be awesome if he just opened the door right now and would just go in and blast him. But, like I said, I don't think he's going to do that. I've never seen that happen with my own gameplay or watching anybody else, so... Okay. Okay. Let's just leave him alive and we'll take him out when we go in. Um, okay, I will uh, meet you guys uh, back here when the door's about ready to break. Okay, here we go. Okay, we still have a guy upstairs, too. All right. <clears throat> that went pretty good. Let's grab everything out of your bag and everything out of your bag. Uh, there shouldn't be anything up here. <coughs> grab that and that and turn you off. Turn you on on overdrive. Run the power and the fuel, or run the fuel out anyway. Grab this and come on, ingots. <laughs> no ingots, damn it, Jim. Okay. Um, I mean, there's some adhesive in here, but honestly, this is kind of a pretty freaking lame chest. We got some rifle rounds. All right, well, whatever. It was fun. It was for fun. Okay, well, we're going to have to make our final ingots then, which we can do. It's just going to take a little bit longer to get her all done, but we can make it happen. So let's uh, head on back to the ranch here. Uh, we'll grab all of that and extinguish the fire. Stay away from there because that's where the claymore is. And I'll see you guys back at the base. Okay, we are back at the base. Um, I'm going to grab these mushrooms and feed them to the chickens because there's no dishes that use them. You can't cook them and they don't really have that much nutrition. So I think we're just going to feed them to you guys. Oh, it gives, gives the chickens a little bit of water too. I've been using seaweed and grubs, but I've kind of run low on those things to feed these guys. I, I try not to feed them my food just because, um, you know, I don't want to. <laughs> Uh, so let's go ahead and give you a grub. We'll split this in half. That makes them a little more thirsty, but I mean, water's by far the easier thing to give them. You're level 8 right now, and you're level 9. So th those guys are just about ready to mature. Let's give them a little bit of water, too. That should get you topped off, or close enough to topped off to where we don't got to worry about it for a while. Okay. Um, now what we're going to do is we're burning stuff here. Um, we got a bunch of stuff to feed into the mass fabricator. So basically all of this stuff here, uh, we're feeding into there, including, uh, this meat when it gets burned. So right now we're at, uh, hundred percent mass. Let's get, turn you guys back on just to get the power completely maxed out. So we have plenty of that. And then uh, start feeding this in. So we'll see how much all of this gives us. We're currently at 100. Okay, that got us up to 169, which is plenty to make the pick. But we also have to make two more ingots, which is going to use some of that. So let's get this in as well. Okay, so we need copper and iron for the ingots and two more of these. Oh, that only used 20 mass. Okay, that's not so bad. Not so bad. Very good. Okay, we have everything else we need here for the pick. We just got to wait for those two ingots and then we should be ready to go. While we're waiting on that, let's get, uh, make ourselves a few more bandages. And we still have three health kits, so we're good to go on that. Our armor's in good repair. Our weapons are in pretty good repair, so I don't think we need to worry about that. I do want to make another lock pick, but not until after we make the uh, the climbing picks. Once we make the climbing picks, 
There's there's the hang glider, which is kind of expensive. I'm just trying to. Th <clears throat> I'm just trying to figure out what the practical application of this. It looks like it's kind of more of a fun thing. I suppose it could help me get across the map a little more quickly, but I have to get to a high place for that to work. I mean, we'll make it just to try it out, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, and then we could also make the flashlight attachment, uh, which we could certainly do, but then we also have to make batteries, which is sort of kind of expensive, particularly because it uses adhesive. Um, and it kind of depends upon how long they last, too, as to whether or not, uh, you know, I feel that's worth it. But anyway, that, that's for another day. Let's go ahead and make our climbing axes. Woohoo! All right. That's awesome. Uh, once we have these, of course, we can go further into the caves, and we're also going to use them to climb up to eagle's nests and get some of those eagle's feathers, which we're going to need to make the hang glider. So, yeah. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Let's grab all the fat and stuff out of you. Now, I'm assuming at this point that the eagle's nest, like everything else in this game, randomly spawn. Um, oh, wait. I didn't want to do that. Okay. So we're going to run both of you just to get the power uh, back up. We'll have to wait for the mass to come back up on its own. And uh, let's also do another batch of iron here. So yeah, I'm assuming that <clears throat> the nests spawn in random locations, but um, we're going to go back to the last place that I did see a nest and just see if um, it's there, right? Now, let's see if we can eat this other honey glaze thing. Oh, yeah, beautiful. We're up to 117 health cap now, ladies and gentlemen. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, let's take a drink of water and grab our handy dandy climbing picks. I don't even know how these work. So yeah, it'll be interesting to to try those out. Oh, look at that. I'm just going to sit here and do this for 10 minutes because it's so cool. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Do these, can we use these as a weapon if we had to? Climb sheer rock faces with and ice walls. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's very cool. All right, let's uh, let's run over to that location that I talked about. I want to make sure everything's topped off here at the ranch. I'm gonna have to go on another wood run too. We're getting low on wood, and um, see if that nest is actually still there. Uh, looks like I can make another batch of fuel thingamadoodles, but we'll worry about that later. Uh, so, okay, so we're we're good on nutrition. Everything is in full repair. We got some ammo. Okay, let's run over there, and it's getting kind of dark. But we'll just kind of play that by ear, I guess. Uh, this place that I want to go is is over on the way over in the glacier valley, um, in the kind of far um, southwest of the map. So <clears throat> it's probably going to be dark by the time we get there. But we'll see how it goes. Um, and you know if they do. If they do randomly spawn, then that means we can kind of go up into these mountains that are much closer to our base and see if, you know, we can find them up there. But if that nest is still in that same place, you know, then at least I'll know that they are in specific locations, or at least they stay there maybe until we loot them. I don't know. We'll figure it out, though. We'll figure it out. So let's just run along here and head towards the location. I'm not gonna hunt if I don't have to but we will of course loot crates all right guys we are back it's the next morning I spent um, the night <coughs> um, logging for the most part killed a few wolves and uh, we're getting close to the spot that were the last time I saw the nest so I thought I'd bring you back here uh, we have 126 wood so far which is Okay, not a ton, but more. Than, it's 126 more than we had when we first set out. So let's head up to the cliff up here. We have a, a crate here to check. I <coughs> uh, hit a couple iron nodes too, which is always a good thing. Hey, we've got an extra bandage. Nice. Very nice, very nice. 
So yeah, I'm not sure if these nests stay in the same place or if they move around, but we're going to find out here pretty quickly because this is right about where I saw it last. Uh, level 3 grizzly, yeah. Get, stay away from us. Oh, no, it is still there. Okay. Uh, well, actually... Hmm. I thought it was... <clears throat> excuse me. I thought it was more over this way. We have, we can't climb up here, can we? No. All right. Um. Well, let's get these out then. Never used these before. He might be a bit of a problem for us. I've got six shotgun shells. Yeah, you know what? He's going to be a pain in the ass. I was hoping I could get him with one, one shot, but it wasn't meant to be. There's a wolf over yonder, too. We might as well hit him, too, just so he's not going to be a hassle for us. And then I'm going to run down and wash my hands, because I don't know how long it's going to take us up up there. Probably won't take too long, but let's just go do it anyway. <coughs> Who knows? Maybe we'll find a locked crate along the way. I do have one lock pick on me, but I have to make another one. And we will hit normal crates as always. There's one over that way, too, that we'll swing by and grab before we go back to the nest. So, yeah, I'm assuming this is how we're supposed to get these feathers. Uh, yeah, right here. I knew I'd seen another crate over here. I suppose we could shoot the eagles, too, and boy, I sure would like to. Oh, bastards steal your your fish and your rabbits and chickens and stuff. Okay. Um, the other thing that I'm not sure of is if we're going to get attacked when we go up here. So we're going to, I guess we're going to find that out too. Oh, E start climbing. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. I love it. <laughs> Can we go sideways? Yep. Now, the other thing is, is what's the durability on these things? Looks, doesn't look like it's going down super fast, which is a good thing. Wow, this thing is a lot further out than I thought it was. Okay, so I guess we get above it. Oh, yeah, look at that. There's the feathers. Okay, cool. And then um, maybe what we do is we get out on the edge of the nest here to do the hang gliding thing. Very cool. Okay, so that, that didn't really use any noticeable durability at all for that climb. So it looks like these things will last a decent amount of time. Oh, I love this, man. This is fun. I can't wait till we get back into the caves and then we can eat, go even deeper. But we're going to have to be really well supplied um, for, you know, a longer run into the caves. So we grabbed... How many feathers did we grab? We grabbed three feathers. Nice. Okay. I think the only thing we used those for is the hang gliding, I guess. This was a lot higher up than... It appeared from down below. Oh, we, can, <laughs> we can turn that way while we're climbing. Oh, that was fun. Okay, let's uh, look around for some more nests then. 
So obviously we want to stay on the cliffs. I'm, I'm sure there's probably going to be nests a lot closer to home. Like I said, the only reason I came out here is because I knew I had seen one. Uh, there is a rogue. I'm just going to shoot him because, um, you know, they're going to engage us no matter what. Oh, shit. Oh! Eagle's not happy. Eagle's not happy. Did it... Did it steal something from me? It's a level one. So they do attack you, man, after you steal their stuff. Don't blame them. It does a good job of um, zigging and zagging, making it hard to hit. Okay. Well, this is vengeance, man. For all the times you stole my fish and rabbits, you jerk. Wow, look at that. Okay, damaged eagle feathers. Damaged and mostly useless. Find pristine feathers in eagle's nests. Oh, it's because I shot it with the pistol probably okay well are these good for anything probably just for the biomass um recycler cool man all right let's get the bags off of these dudes uh they're all gonna be uphill because they all slid downhill got some more gears that's always that's probably usually the best thing you get off these rogues is the gears. And they are useful because we need them for the breaching charges. Hell, maybe next time we raid Rob or Charlie, we'll just make breaching charges and not mess with the grenades. Okay, I think I may have looted that other one already. So let's go down and wash our hands. But you know what, guys? Actually, it has occurred to me that we are probably out of time in this episode. Maybe have even gone a little long, but it was a great episode. So... Yeah, uh, maybe what we'll do is we'll grab our coat for the next episode and we'll go up into the really high mountains and see if we can find some more of these eagles' nests and just have some more fun with our climbing picks. But that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel in the comments and out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.